right, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm back in the workshop, also known as a garage, and I'm going to be doing a photo frame from one of the photos I took the last time away in the woods. So this is the image I've decided to go for. Um, it's not the actual full edited version because there is a better border frame on it, um, which I will insert the actual photo here now. But I'm going to use this as my test piece to make sure that I get the frame measured correctly. So what am I going to make the frame out of? Well I'm going to use pine um, because I'm going to try a technique which I've seen on YouTube a few times called, if I get this right, uh, Shoshugi Ban which is basically burning wood and then putting a stain or a dye on it. I've got my measurements taken uh, I've got the bit of wood and I'm going to be going for a 20 mil thickness with about approximately 35 mil width on the frame but first of all I need to cut the wood down to size <laughs> So that's the table saw done for now. Uh, I will be going back to it to cut the mitres on it, on the frame. Uh, but the mean, next part of the job is to use a router table uh, to cut what the mountains will call the rapids out of it. And also I'm going to put a round over edge on the frame as well. Only snag is, my router table is there. And as you can see, I've got it slightly covered in bits and pieces. So first of all, I've got to remove those and get the table set up. So these are the two uh, router bits I'm going to be using. This one can focus. That one's for the uh, rebate or rabbit for Americans. And this little one is for the round over. the long cuts and on here we do the inside cuts so it's be 297 and 210 measurements the first one I'm gonna do is for 297 which I've previously used not as long as your two long pieces are identical and lock that down. Okay, so what I've done now is I've now moved the mark down to the next measurement for 210, which is the short side. And as you have noticed in the last few clips, that when you've got a small workshop like myself, um, it gets pretty awkward to 
go to your lengths of wood for the frames and I'll have to keep moving the table saw around um, but now I'm at the stage where it's a short length left um, and I can manage it all from this one little position I know I could push it on the mitre saw which might be easier but I would have to get myself a jig made up with the measurements um, to use on there just to make things a bit easier The next stage of this project is to basically clean up the um, parts of the frames, just a bit of sandpaper ready before I actually burn them. Um, I just think this is going to be a better way of doing it because there's some rough edges on it. So I'm going to be using uh, 120 grit and also 180 grit. Um, I know before I did just say that um, it'll be the wire brush and then the die, but it won't be. It'll be a wire brush, then assembly, and then the die to do as a finisher, um, followed by a lacquer spray, which should just coat it nicely. So, what do we use for the brushing? So, as you can see, I've got my four pieces here, all nicely charred. I've got two um, wire brushes here. This one's got very soft bristles, this one's got harder bristles. But then filling that, got a wire brush with a barbecue, which as you can see doesn't really get used. So I will try this one first, um, maybe to take the, the worst off, and then go from there. Just get the PPE on.
because I've heard that this can really, really dust your quad for you. Okay then, so what do I use to glue the frames together? Well, first of all, I will put some blue tape around the edges here, which helps it makes it easier when you're doing the glue up. I will then use Clark's original glue, not really. It's um, this one's actually Gorilla glue, which was left in the bottle, but it was stuck, so I just put in the Clark's um, bottle. I'll also use a spatula to help spread the glue around and then to mend I've got it all nice and tight I will use this um, frame and jig just to secure it all in place now when I'm looking at my bench here there's part of the, uh, the frame isn't looking level at this end it's not quite flat I do use old cardboard boxes for gluing up purposes but what I might try and do is see if I've got some plywood spare um, just to use as a flat surface so as you might see here I did find some plywood spare um, so I've laid the frame back down that looks a lot better so now I'm going to put on the blue tape and having an old tape dispenser does come in quite handy for these jobs. For these next few clips, I'll change my microphone, don't ask us why, and I've now found out by editing this clip that it's crap. Here I was telling you that it's time to dye the wood. But before that I had cut the perspex and backboard. I'd actually painted the front side of the backboard and you can see And you can just see the test photo through the perspex. Then I gang on about what to use as I've seen people use food dye, which I did a test of, but I didn't like it. I then watched a video where acrylic paint was applied. I did a test with that and I really liked the result. I decided on using a green, but what shade? Mid green sap green and the winner is sap green the advice i've seen for applying the acrylic paint is to spray with water then dab a bit of paint on a foam brush and apply it that's what i basically do over this next part i'm not too bothered about how the back or rebate look just as long as the front is looking decent and so there's the final result uh, the frame looks really good, I'm very happy with that. Uh, the photo I think it looks quite good in there and I've also done a, a border frame around there as you can see. Um, so if you've enjoyed this, please click on the thumb to like the video. Also subscribe to the channel, as those two things especially help the channel out. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I would love to hear back from you with your thoughts on this project. Or, what you could have maybe done differently 
Okay, so hope we see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>